welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, then my name is London Hustle and today we are in a brand new city. We are in the city of Derby. Now, I told a few people where I was coming today and I got some very strange looks and a bit of concern. They told me that it's not known for being the nicest of places. However, I have to say, I've just got off the train, making my way into the city centre right now. And this place looks quite nice. Gone past a few nice buildings. So to me, so far, it doesn't look too bad. Now, the time is half 11. I have gone online on a Deliveroo and Uber Eats. The map's saying that it's not too busy just yet, but hopefully within in the next half an hour or so things start to pick up i think we're in the city center there's some delivery drivers waiting around also i've noticed all the taxis here are yellow i've never seen yellow taxis apart from in new york obviously in london we've got the very famous black cab here in derby apparently they've got the yellow ones it's very busy today it is a saturday okay i feel like we're definitely in the center now there's a mcdonald's further down here on the left and yeah look at this this is where all the delivery drivers hang out oh my god there is loads. Now, I'm not usually the biggest fan of waiting around other delivery drivers. I'd prefer to ride around. I'm gonna give that a go. It seems like we're in a new city, but this might be the place we have to come to. And our first order in Derby from Nando's. That looks very far. Very, very far. I'm not sure if I wanna do this for the first order. I'm gonna decline that. Oh, here we go. We're getting another Nando's order come in this time. Going a little bit closer. £3.68. Let's do this one. Our first order in Derby. Alright, here is Nando's. Not entirely sure how safe Derby is, but I'm going to leave my bike unlocked. Oh yeah, I've got 6233. Yeah, it's not ready just yet. No. Do you know how long it's going to be? Five minutes. Yeah, okay. No worries. Thank you. Really, really nice bike. I would suggest you always to lock it. Yeah? This is my first time delivering in Derby, so I was like, is it safe or is it not safe? <laughs> That yeah. Make sure you use it. Yeah, okay. I don't know how much you paid for it, but... The company actually sent it to me. It's nice though. It's the first time I'm using it. Oh, crikey. I've just seen yeah, it. got a belt. Whatever. Yeah, it's got a carbon belt on it. Oh, a lot of companies are doing this now with the new e-bikes. You've got electric power behind you. It's easier to maintain and it, it wears less than a chain. Oh, and it doesn't slip off as well. Because I've just seen... That's the, mo the motors inside here. The yeah, the motor's so small on this one. It's only 250 watts. Yeah. The UK regulations. Yeah, I know, but it's still small. Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, what was your name? Vass. Vass, nice to meet you. Oh, guys, what a lovely delivery driver that was. Shout out to Vass. I'm not sure if you'll ever see this video. He was a lovely man. The waiter we got the order off was quite nice as well. But he told me a story about not that long ago, he got his bike stolen here. And he warned me to always lock up my bike. So from now on, we're going to be locking up the bike every single place we go to. Yeah, people seem pretty friendly here so far. Our first customer is 12 minutes away, 1.7 miles. Let's go explore Derby and get this delivered. This place is beautiful. This place is unreal. It's so nice around here. Hiya, oh yeah. do you have the code please? 81. 81. Thank you. There you go. Enjoy your numbers. Thanks. Have a good day. First order in Derby complete and that paid us £3.68, which to be honest, probably not worth it. About a 12 minute journey to get here. If I was in London, an order paying this amount of money would probably take me around five minutes, just for comparison. But let's head back down into the city center and try get ourselves another order. Let's get some speed down here, see how fast we can go. We are up to 40 kilometers and 43. Oh my God, let's put the brakes on. <laughs> if you are new around here, or even if you're not and you didn't gather already, we're on a new bike today. We are on Engwe's new bike. And I was going to talk to you a bit about it, but the delivery driver at Nando's did a review for me pretty much. Talked about some of the features on the bike. And we'll talk about them a little bit more in depth throughout the video. We'll do a review towards the end. This is my first time on it. So it's a bit too early yet to give my opinion. I just thought I'd turn the camera on because I thought where we're going is pretty cool right now. There's a lot of people out and about. Everyone's so friendly. Everyone's talking to me. You don't get this in London. Oh, here we go. We're almost back at the city centre and I'm getting an order in but yeah I'm not gonna do that it's from Sainsbury's Sainsbury's looks really far away so we're gonna have to travel quite a while to pick up the order that's before even seeing where the customer is this looks like a really nice order come in oh my god my voice is going <laughs> five pound 68 it's a double order both the restaurants are near me and I think we're only dropping off to one customer the place we're picking up from is inside of a shopping center which means we're gonna have to lock up the bike outside which I'm a little bit nervous of after the conversation we had with our first delivery driver Oh my god, hopefully this place isn't too big, because if it is, this could take me a while. 
Oh, that's pretty convenient, isn't it? Right at the top of the escalators. Go, right, mate. Three, two, zero, four. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Okay, now we need to pick up from Miss Copy. Oh yeah, about five four one zero. Alright, do you know how long it's going to be? A couple of minutes. Couple minutes. Okay. Tell you what, they take a pretty time to get orders ready here in Derby. Derby, Derby. I mean, we're literally just picking up a milk tea and a creme brulee. In London, that would have been ready sitting there, and we even picked up an order before this one as well. Oh my God, but look, we're getting a double order in from Popeyes now on Uber. Obviously, we're already on this order, so I can't accept that, unfortunately. But it's a positive sign. Thank you. Finally got the order. It took a lot longer than I would have liked. Oh, that's made up for it though. The customer's only three minutes away. I think if I'm correct, that both of these orders are going to the same customer, unless they just both live in the same building. I could only see one customer pin when we got the order come through. Yeah, what a beautiful day it is today. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'm definitely enjoy filming it. Just goes to show, doesn't it? You shouldn't always listen to what other people have to say. <laughs> That goes for some of your comments as well. Yeah, I got told that this place was a bit rough, a bit sketchy. So far, everyone's been nice and friendly. The architecture's nice, the streets are clean. Nothing to complain about so far. I know a lot of you guys enjoy seeing me come to different cities. Don't get me wrong, I know a lot of you also love to watch the London videos, which will never go away. But I do enjoy coming to new cities every now and again. It allows me to get different experiences and what it's like to deliver in different places. And it also lets me try out new bikes, which is always pretty fun. Like I said, we're on the Engway bike today and I've been riding it for a little while now. The first thing I'll say is it's very smooth to ride, even though it doesn't have front or rear suspension because it is a city bike. It's still nice and smooth across the roads, which is good. Is this the customers? I think we're here already. Oh my god, that was so fast. Please come upstairs to the apartment. I think that's the back entrance though. Let's see if there's a front door around here. I'm sure there is. Oh, maybe not. Maybe up here? Oh, I've found myself at the bottom of a hill again. Yeah, that's one of the things I want to say about this bike is I've noticed it's not the best up hills. You really have to put in a lot of energy. Don't get me wrong, it's possible, but if you're someone who's not the fittest or is looking to get an e-bike to eliminate hills, you might struggle with this one. Hiya, you're right. There you are. Do you have the code, please? Six, five, thank you so much. You. Have a good day. Ah, it is this one as well. <laughs> Hiya, I got your other order as well in there. I didn't realise because it didn't show me on the first screen. There you go. And this one's one, two. Thank you so much. You. Enjoy. Right, oh, look at this. £6.70. Do we do that? That's a nice pay in order. Oh my god, there's a place called California in Derby. That's hilarious. And it's going right through it. I'm taking this order because I want to see what California looks like. All right, that was a strange little drop off though, wasn't it? Because both orders were to the same customer, but they didn't appear on the same sheet. I had to confirm one order and then the other one came through for me to confirm. And a lot of you guys always say, oh, stop telling people's pins. Like, it's always the same pin. It's really not. It's just not. The pins always change. For some people, it might stay the same. I don't know, but in my experience, it's always different. We're now picking up from a restaurant that's two minutes away from us, which is good. I don't like coming to the cities where you have to be in the city centre to get orders because then you're just like a yo-yo, you know? You, you go out, deliver it to a customer that lives outside the city centre, and you've got to come all the way back to get another order and repeat that process. Now, as I'm saying that, I'm realising I'm a bit of an idiot because that customer was only three minutes away from the city centre and this order's two minutes away, so it's still the city centre. Ignore everything I just said. Let's go pick up this order. Can I take it? This one, 1488. Okay, a lot of restaurants, they leave it out on the side when you can just take it. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Well, I don't like that system at all. That's a bad idea. So they leave the drinks out on the side right as you come in. Now, usually when restaurants do that, it's because you can just pick up the order and take it. That's what I'm used to doing anyway. So if I was them, I wouldn't leave those cold drinks on the side because I guarantee when it gets busy and they're not paying attention, some riders will come up and take that thinking it's the whole order when it's not. I'm not saying it's either or's fault, but just when most restaurants do that, it's because you can take the order. Oh my God, 21 minutes to this customer. Damn, that is far. That's real far. And the worst thing is, it's 21 minutes away from the city centre, which means if there's no restaurants out there, we're gonna have to come all the way back to get ourselves another order. But I'm, I need to stop being so negative. Let me try to be a bit more positive and optimistic. We're in a new city. Let's just sit back and try to enjoy the ride. 3.3 miles, let's go get it.
Man, this is stunning. I'm having a great day so far. When I told people I was coming here, the worry in their eyes and the concern for me was very high. They told me it was a very place. I think people just have to change their perspective sometimes. Beautiful forest, the sun is out, the path is smooth, the birds are chirping away, and we're making money. Life's good. Sorry, mate. Can I grab the coat, please? Three five. Three five. Thank you. There you are, man. Okay. Enjoy. Good See ya. Oh man, we travelled far to get here. I'm exhausted. Now after doing a long ride like that, one thing I've noticed about this bike is I am not the biggest fan of the riding position. I feel very hunched over, and a lot of the weight from the bag is compressing down onto my back. It's a little bit sore right now. I did go to the gym early this morning as well, so that's probably not helped. A beautiful ride though. Beautiful houses. Beautiful scenery. A lot of hills which I didn't exactly enjoy. Yeah, after a long journey like that, man. I need to get some fuel. I haven't had lunch today. So while I'm here next to Tesco, I'm going to pop in and grab myself something to eat. What should we get for ourselves today? I can just hear this Eddie Abu's voice in the back of my head telling me how bad this stuff is. But I'm starving, man. Chicken or ranch? Is that new? In addition, it looks a bit plain though. Look at that. Not much variety at all. Very, very boring. Let's get ourselves one of these. I know they're quite high in sugar, but it's not necessarily a bad thing right now. Oh, let's be boring. Smoked chicken and bacon bigger. And then you guys know, of course, the best chocolate on the planet, White Lion Bar. Now, oh, something strange a little bit happened there. So I come out of Tesco and heading back towards my bike and I saw some guy just stood next to it. It looked a little bit shady. And then as soon as I unlocked it and rode away, he walked off. So I don't know if I'm overthinking that or not. We are very far away from the city centre right now. So I'm going to head back in that direction, find myself a nice little spot to eat my meal deal. And then we'll get back on with some orders. I think I've cracked the way to ride this bike though. It's like this, no hands. It's the only way I can sit up straight and have my back straight. Look how far away I am from the handlebars. That's insane. <laughs> I did go for a size large frame. It feels small. Like I think even if I got a smaller size, it wouldn't make a difference or it might even be worse. I don't know. But I have the seat at the lowest setting right now and it feels too high for me. I'm about five foot 11, which is an average height for most people. And don't get me wrong, some people love this riding position. If you're someone who's just commuting to work, if you're just riding around the streets for fun or going on little family rides in cities, then this riding position probably isn't too bad. But obviously, I'm a delivery driver. I carry a lot of weight on my back. So being in this type of position, long term isn't going to be the best. All right, we're back in the city centre now. Some guy parked right in the cycle lane. Now the time is two o'clock. Yes, two o'clock. Time has gone fast, man. Really fast. We go ahead and look at our earnings. We're at £16.06. Six pence. Yeah, not great. But when I come to these new cities, it's not necessarily about earning the most money. I don't know the area at all. I never do any research before I come here. So I'm probably not going to make the smartest decisions. I'm not going to take the quickest routes. And that's not what these videos are about when I come to new cities. It's more about just seeing what it's like and having a new experience and getting to try out a new bike. I think this might be the friendliest city I've ever delivered in. Everyone just seems so nice around here. Now, unfortunately, the map is saying not busy anymore because it's two o'clock out of lunchtime. My train's not till four, so still got two more hours. I'm going to stay out and try to do as many deliveries as possible for you guys. And I'll bring you back something happens. All right guys, I'm just stood here in the city center, just around the corner from McDonald's. We're finally getting an order in. No, God. Oh, £4.15 from Nando's again. Nando's is the spot right now. I might actually head up there and just wait outside Nando's, but that looks to me about the same as what we did earlier. So that's going to be at least 20 minutes. We then have to double that to get back. So that's going to be 40 minutes for £4.15. I know it's quiet right now, but I just can't justify doing that. Going to head up to Nando's, wait there. Hopefully we get ourselves a better order come through. You can see all the other delivery drivers just waiting around here. Every now and then I'm seeing one of them get an order, like this guy on my right, he's just got a subway order coming. So, you know, there's still orders coming through and probably ones worth taking. It's just very low supply right now and a lot of riders waiting around. So the odds are not in our favor. <laughs> we get an order come through. It's not the best, I don't think. It's from Co-op, which we're not close to, but the customer's nice and close. We'll accept it. How long is it gonna say to get to Co-op? Five minutes, that's... That's not terrible, you know? Yeah, I wish it was from somewhere like right next to me, but unfortunately not. And we can't be picky and choosy right now. So if this isn't terrible, let's go pick up this co-op order. Oh, the police down here, it's in a tiny little car. Undercover feds. Maybe I've just come on like a really good day and this isn't the normal, but I can only judge it off what I'm seeing. So far, I'm really enjoying it. How stupid is this? The customer's put a roundabout as their drop-off location. There's not even a roundabout here. All right, they want me to ring a number, but it's not the number linked to the account, which sounds a little bit dodgy. I'm going to ring it anyway. Hello. Hi, mate. It's your delivery driver. Okay. I'm at the location on the map, but uh, 
You haven't put an address, you've just put a roundabout. Um, I think you're right there, just look the other way. Oh, you're right, mate. All right, I'm coming over. You're right, mate. How you doing? Sorry, that's not ordering anything. Pardon? That's not ordering anything. You didn't order anything? Uh, I think your girlfriend might have, possibly. I don't know. It says, please call that number and... Oh, it's a gift oh. for you. Oh. <laughs> there you are. There is alcohol in this though, so I'm going to need to check your ID if that's oh, okay. Out of all the days, I can't find my wallet today. Out of all the days. Oh, so typical, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Perfect. Thank you, mate. Oh, should be a code. 48. 48. There you are. Enjoy your gift. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. Just to let you know as well, there should have been flowers, but the shop had run out. I think they'll get a refund, yeah. But just to let you know that they ordered you flowers as well. Oh my God, that was so sweet. That's so wholesome. Here's me complaining they didn't put the address, but it's not even their address. It was a gift. That's so nice. I've never, never had that before. What a city. What a day. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, man. Oh, here we go. Getting an order from Nando's, of course. That is the spot here in Derby. Only three pound and seven pence. But like I said, extremely quiet right now. Cannot be picky, but let's go picky this up. That was so bad. That was terrible. Uh, got, yeah, I got four, six, eight, two. Yeah. Thank you. I have never seen a Nando's more popular than in Derby. They absolutely love it over here. Seems like a little bit of a routine coming down this way. Starting to get very familiar with this little area. And this customer is 1.3 miles away. We were saying it should take us about eight minutes. Hopefully it'll be a little bit less than that. So I've seen a load of football fans roaming around the streets. The time's just hit three o'clock. I think a game has just finished or just about to start. I know this video might sound like it's sponsored by Derby, but it is so bike friendly around here. Almost every road or path you go down has bike lanes or designated bike signs that tell you you're allowed to ride down there which i think is pretty cool there's a lot of parks and wildlife areas which bikes are allowed to ride through all around it seems like a pretty decent city now we're not too far away from this customer now going through yet another little park here I've seen a lot of kids out playing as well which is quite a nice sign it's something you don't really see in london oh dear though it does want me to go down here which is not tarmac and looks quite muddy. I take back what I said earlier about the mud guards. Although I haven't put the one that goes up the front. There's actually one down the back. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up. It's on the front wheel, but at the back bit. So it stops all that mud splashing up onto me. So I take back my little complaint I made earlier. And look at me. I am spotless, even though we went through some puddles and some pretty muddy areas. Hi, mate. You right? There you go. That one as well. Do you have the code, please? It's five zero. Oh, five. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm having one of those days. Five zero. Thank you, mate. Enjoy. Oh, you're the nice little customer there. Oh my god, this is the first time this is happening. We're getting straight onto another order, and the customer lives right down by the train station, which is amazing because I just checked my train ticket, and it's actually three forty, not four o'clock, and it's ten past three now, which means my train leaves in half an hour. So I want to get as close to that train station as I can because even though I've been raving on about Derby, I don't want to get stranded here. I do not want to miss that train. All right, let's go find this Sainsbury's. Hopefully it's not going to be a heavy order. All right, mate, I've got 2082. Just the one bag, yeah? Thank you. Oh my God, right. I am not liking this at all. I've just seen how long it's going to take. It's going to take 19 minutes. My train leaves in about 25 minutes, I think. Oh my God, I'm not even taking the key off. Let's go, let's go, go, go. There is no time to waste right now. So I'm meant to get this customer at 31 minutes past. My train is at 39 minutes past. This is cutting it way too close. Oh my God, let's just move as fast as possible. Dear, this is not good because Derby train station is literally here on my right. I miscalculated quite a lot. We're 10 minutes now. This is going to be so close. This route is absolutely amazing. Right down the side of a river. We're still five minutes, one mile to the customer. I've got the prediction time down to 3.28. As long as they don't live in an apartment complex and it's a straight drop off, that gives us 11 minutes to get to the station, which is doable. This train goes into Birmingham and I've got to get a connecting train from Birmingham to London Euston, which I had to book a bike slot on. So if I have to wait, I'm not guaranteed they're going to let me on the train with this bike. Why am I easing up? I need to get this train. Let's go. Almost there. Oh, I'm seeing apartments. 
I'm seeing apartments, that's not good. No, 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 no. It's an apartment. I'm not locking up the bike, I've not got time for that. No, not that one. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the code, please. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, 93. Thank you, and date of birth. Thank you so much, have a good day. Right, Derby train station. Right, oh my god, it's a 10 minute journey there. I might get there one minute before my train is due. Rapid, 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 come on. Birmingham. Yeah. Where can I put the bike? You'd be lucky to get it on, it's busy. Oh my god guys we barely made our train and did you see how busy it was note to self never travel on easter weekend again i had to stand up like that for four hours so i didn't record an outro to this video which is what we're going to do now and i know a lot of you will want to know what i thought about the bike and some of its features so if you want to stick around and hear about that then we're going to talk about it this is the engway p275 pro and one of the first things i have to say about this bike is how nice it looks you can tell they've really thought about the aesthetics of this bike just the simple way that this down tube here blends beautifully into this bright orange battery compartment you can see here i also like how minimalist this bike is a lot of bikes are just branded all across on this one they have the engway logo across here but then everything else is very subtle. You've got the model of the bike in a nice black color that blends into the frame with just the P popping out. Same down here, which I think is a really nice touch. And they've cut out the Engway logo into the rear rack, which is a nice subtle detail. Now let's talk about the bike itself. Down here, we have a Bafang M200 torque sensor motor. You've heard me talk about torque sensors in previous videos. I really like them because of how natural it feels to ride. The amount of pressure you give is the amount of assistance the bike gives back. Now this bike has a 250 watt motor which is in accordance with UK regulations. That means this is completely legal to ride on the roads. Something that I think is pretty cool about this bike as well is it has a dropper seat post so you can have your riding position set. But if you're sat on this and you pull this lever up the bike seat will go to the lowest possible position. If you're maybe going over some rough terrain and you want to stand and not hit yourself on the seat then that's a really nice option and I've not seen this on any other bike that I've reviewed so far. Now to turn on the bike you simply press and hold the power button and the end weight screen will load up. This bike has five different level modes of assist. Unlike any other bike I've seen before they don't have numbers they have letters so you have E for eco, T for turbo, S for sport, S plus for sports plus and then B for boost which is the maximum power. Only being a 250 watt motor you don't feel too much of a difference between the modes and it doesn't waste up too much battery so I used this whole bike on B the highest mode possible. For anyone curious in that video we actually did 56.8 kilometers and I was left with 33% battery which I think is pretty decent and better than most bikes I've tried in the past. Now this bike does have hydraulic disc brakes they're not the most expensive disc brakes in the world however they do get the job done now as you can see down here at the front there is no front suspension and as we move on to the back there's also no rear suspension this bike is designed for riding on roads and smooth paths if you're going to be doing any off-road riding constantly this is probably not the bike for you but as i'm reviewing it as a delivery driver that works in a city of london this is a great bike to use now let's talk about some of the things i don't like about this bike so this is the battery compartment down here to access the key fob and the power you have this weird like rubberized panel which is really awkward to hold up so if you're someone who has mobility issues in your hands this might be a little bit awkward now you don't have to charge the battery on the bike and i would always recommend removing the battery however to remove it all there is is these little ridges down either side this is where you can see they really focused on the look of the bike however in scenarios like this i think they should have went more for practicality and had a handle on here because to get the battery out you have to really grip hard onto the top and pull now it's a pretty big battery which is great i love a big battery it gives you more range but that means it's quite heavy and to lift it up with a tiny bit of grip for some people that might be a bit of a challenge but as you can see once you remove the battery you can charge it now this is a 36 volt 19.2 amp hour battery which is a pretty decent sized battery and as you saw we got a nice amount of range from it if you've watched the channel before you know when i try out new bikes i like to rate them on three different categories comfort practicality and enjoyability 
let's start off with comfort. For me, this wasn't the comfiest bike to ride because the riding position just felt very strange. You can see here in the seat height I've got on camera that the seat actually lays higher than the handlebars, which results in you being crouched over like a turtle to grab the handlebars. So as a delivery driver, having a big back on my back, that wasn't the most pleasant experience. It was okay for a few hours, but if I was using this every single day, that would definitely take a toll on my back. Now, obviously this depends on your size and your preferences. If you're using this bike to commute to work or just ride around the city for a few hours with nothing on your back, that's probably not gonna be too much of an issue. The second thing is the seat. As cool as it looks, and I think it is a really cool seat, it feels a little bit soft to the touch, but for me personally, it wasn't too comfy. Now, everybody is completely different in this situation, and the seat is the most swapped out part of a bike. So for a majority of people, you're probably gonna swap this out anyway and put something that suits you. And the fact it's got no suspension either, as well as just regular tires, you really have to watch out for potholes, little bumps in the road, because you're gonna feel everything on this bike. So for comfortability, I'm gonna to have to give this a six. Now we're gonna move over onto practicality. I think this is a pretty practical bike. It's got the lights built into the front. The battery lasts a very long time. Even going up a lot of hills, trails, and carrying my weight plus a lot of food, still got home with plenty of battery left. The motor is nice. I like how the torque sensor works in this. They've used Bafang and high quality parts all throughout, and it comes with a very sturdy rear rack. I wasn't able to utilize that with the bag in today's video, but you could definitely attach a delivery bag or a basket to the back of this and then relieve some of that pressure off your back. Practicality of this bike, I would give a 7.5. Now moving over onto enjoyment. I had a lot of fun out on this bike. I definitely struggled in some scenarios, especially going up hills because it's only got a 250 watt motor. It was definitely better than riding without an electric motor, but it was still a bit of a struggle. Overall though, I had a great time and I really enjoyed the city of Derby. So for enjoyability, I would also give this bike a 7.5. I think this bike looks so cool though. I love the color scheme they've gone for and it has a really nice profile to it. Now that is gonna be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, then be sure to drop a like down below. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much to all the channel members and like always, thank you for watching.